This section shows making the base. To make the base, we need to find the centre. We do this by drawing diagonals between the corners. Where the marks cross is the centre. Use a marking knife to press into the centre to positively mark it. Here's a closer up view. In order to turn the base, we're going to use the screw centre fitted to a Technic tool scroll chuck. It has a very coarse thread and will hold the timber securely. We'll need to drill an 8mm diameter hole. For drilling the hole, we need to raise the table of the drill press to a comfortable height so that we don't have to pull the handle of the drill feed very far. Clamp the table in place. Bring the feed down till the tip of the drill touches the wood. Then set the collar to the three quarters of an inch mark. We'll drill the hole after cutting the blank into a circle. We're going to use a circle cutting guide on the bandsaw. It uses a nail in the centre mark that fits into a hole. Choose the hole that will give us give you the larger diameter circle. Push the circle cutting guide in until the front of the teeth line up with a diagonal line across the blank. Once that's reached, begin turning the blank gently. Let the saw cut at its own pace. When it's complete, you'll need to carefully remove the cut material away from the blank and pull the guide back. It should be left with a fairly round circle. Return to the drill press, turn the drill on, gently feed where the nail was, until you've reached three quarters of an inch thick, clean up after yourself. If the lathe has a center, spur centre in it, you'll need to remove it, the draw bar. Return the spur setter to the rack. Lock the index pin into place by turning it until it pulls back in towards the headstock. You may need to adjust the headstock spindle to make it lock. Wind the scroll chuck onto the headstock spindle until it stops moving. To fit the screw centre you need to open the jaws Put the screw centre in so that the shoulder is in front of the jaws and the flats line up with the jaws of the chuck. Use the tummy bar and the lever to tighten. Return the tools to the tool rack. Screw on the base onto the screw centre using firm pressure and an even turning motion. Make sure that the base is seated against the jaws of the chuck. Remove the or pull the index pin out and turn it so it locks in the keeper. 